We're live here on the July 4th gala event presented by RBI Beverage. Uh, here with Jason Sultan, starting third baseman for the Killer Z's 2 organization. Uh, Jason, let's start off with that way your team uh, ended the year. Uh, getting shellacked by the score of 17 to 6. And to be honest with you, uh, we did not expect to go out that way. Um, led by a strong captain, Lee Zakaria. Um, very, very... Honestly, I've been in the league about, what, 10 years maybe now. Mm -hmm. And I've... Probably my best year together with the best team. We had a great time. But honestly, going out that way was not uh, what I expected. That game three took a lot out of us. Losing that in extra innings. Um, that hurt us, to tell you the truth. And I really expected to be playing here today. And a little disappointed that we're not, to be honest. Now, Jason, looking back at your year, statistically, you had an excellent year. Um, but uh, a lot of the fans are noting that uh, you, you had a few outbursts this year. Um, you almost got ejected out of three different games by the umpires. Uh, you fought with opponents this year. You even fought with some teammates this year. Uh, no fisticuffs involved, no. ever. But uh, very boisterous year on the sideline. A little more than usual even. What do you have to say about that? Um, what I have to say is that everybody in this league knows me already by now. Uh, but I, that's what I do bring to this team. Uh, I think I bring a little intensity. Um, just get everybody worked up. You know, I don't accept be losing 20 to 4, 20. We don't accept that's not acceptable in this league. Right. And I will not let that happen. So other than that, you know, that's why things get a little out of hand. Um, our phenomenal umpires have definitely had nothing to do with it. It's uh, all about the players just getting really worked up. Um, but... Um, of course, That's, the umpires, we only hire the best through yeah. a rigorous screening uh, process. Um, Jason, you've won, I believe, it's uh, seven gold gloves over your nine or ten year career. Uh, one of the best third basemen this league has seen in many years. Um, How do you feel this year and do you expect to get the, the uh, award this year? Um, there's a lot of good young third baseman. Mm -hmm. Jordan Mel is pretty good. Uh, a lot of Soli Shahabar. Um, so it's going to be tight run. Uh, but I'm going to be honest. I'm, uh, if, I, if I had won the World Series this year, I was probably going to hang it up. Um, but now that I didn't and I'm not playing in the World Series, we'll come back next year. Uh, hopefully we'll win the gold glove. Uh, if it doesn't happen, that's okay. Uh, winning is more important, uh, and that's what hopefully you look forward to next year. I can't imagine anyone leaving the league after this year. Clearly the best uh, YMSL season in around 20 years now. We have uh, all-stars like Elliot Braha coming back, Maurice Zakaria, uh, Jack Zolta, all coming back in the next uh, two to four years. So uh, we hope we don't see you go. Um, I don't, I don't think you're a little too young to call it a career. Uh, and who's this? Who's this young fan over this here? This is my son Charles. Charles, say hi to the camera. He's going to be playing in this league, future all-star in this league. And I want to say one thing, to be honest. Uh, this league, the young players in this league are unbelievable. Uh, Bobby, Norman, everybody, all the Chucky, Nathan have been doing a great job bringing the young players up early. Unbelievable talent and how great they've been. It's really amazing. And I think giving a, a lot of credit for bringing everybody in early. Erwin Cohen, Joe Chiro, all these young players have just brought a lot to this league and it's uh, really made it fun. Jason, we're here uh, with the always entertaining Jason Sultan. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next Sunday, July 11th at the award ceremony at Nathan and Sherry Tallis' house. Jason, Thank thanks you. for joining us. Thank you, Norman.